Stand by. Remove legal and Q logo. Cookie, I need you in the booth. I'm already here, guys. Hey, who who moved my box of Febreze? 1020 on the Febreze. I need a 1020 on the Febreze. Standing by. We are on. Make for a terrible commute. Authorities hope that the trains will be running in the next few hours once the dung confetti. We have a live one, all set. We're at 30 seconds. Hi. Alrighty then. I've got one antsy contestant. Okay, guys, let's get ready. 10 seconds. All my breath. Let's check the bees. Six. Five. He fade to black. From the makers of Clatchy Sense, the scented suppositories. Hey there, I'm Cookie Masterson, and don't worry, this isn't my first love scene. No friends, huh? Would you just get out of prison? And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by Brown Anna Banana Toasters. For a perfectly toasted banana the first time and every time. Say, nice banana. And right this way. To get things rolling, will you calamari me? If Nadia Suleiman, better known as the Octomom, actually behaved like a female octopus, what would happen after she gave birth? She'd die, her spine would dissolve, she'd eat her children, or she'd eat the genitals of the father of her children. Watch the... No, but if she did do that, she could star in her own TV show called Octomom Nom Nom. <laughs> it's so obvious. Female octopuses, octopi, oh, whatever, die shortly after their eggs hatch. So the Octomom would unfortunately kick the bucket. <laughs> then they bury her in one casket and her uterus in another. <laughs> Up next, I Heart Adam. If Albert Einstein had written a romantic comedy about the atomic relationship between neutrons and electrons, which Jennifer Aniston flick would have provided the most appropriate title? The Breakup, The Object of My Affection, He's Just Not That Into You, or Leprechaun. Because neutrons have no electrical charge, the negatively charged electrons are not, and never will be, attracted to them. But I did see a picture in Us Weekly of an electron getting frozen yogurt with a proton in Palm Springs. Woo! This one's known as Bed Bugs Bye Bye Bye, and it's a toxic disordat. I'm gonna read you a list of seven names. For each one, you need to tell me if it's a boy band or an insect repellent brand. If it's the boy band, press left on your plus control pad. If it's insect repellent, press right on your plus control pad. Each one right gets you 300 bucks. Each one wrong costs you 300 bucks. And like someone putting a roach out of its misery, you'll want to make it quick. Answer fast for more cash. Okay, let's move. Take that. Cutter. 98 degrees. Damage. Off. Ultra pure. Ozone. On a scale of Joey Fatone to Justin Timberlake, I'd say that performance was a Lance Bass. Nice, but nothing special. I play the 98 degrees Christmas CD to keep ants out of my kitchen. Take a stab at facelift book. Which website would not be a fancier version of Facebook? Physiognomy book, Natee's book, countenance book, or visage book? Watch your time. You could have at least tried. Hell, you might have even come up with this. Natee's book would be a fancy name for ass book. 
And trust me, you don't want your friend to poke you on ass book. Where's the bomb, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Coming up, gory. Suppose Al Gore gets gore during the running of the bulls in Spain. If he demands a recount of all the bulls and steers in the run, what will the recount find? 12 suspicious bulls and steers, 20 dubious bulls and steers, 36 fishy bulls and steers, or 51 questionable bulls and steers? Watch how easy this is. Each day of the running of the Bulls Festival, six bulls are released along with six steer. So 12 animals in total. The bull's horn didn't pierce Al Gore all the way through. It just left him with dangling chaps. <laughs> Round one is complete. And surprisingly, you're doing pretty well. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And lest you forget, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. Now get out there and make me proud. And now, I love you, Meth Cooper. I've been watching that AMC show, Breaking Bad, about a high school chemistry teacher who uses his science powers for evil by manufacturing drugs. And speaking of chemistry, the title Breaking Bad contains several chemical symbols such as B, R, K, N, and B, A. So now it's time for a chemistry pop quiz. Which of those symbols have I matched with the wrong name? Bromine, B, R, potassium, K, nickel, N, or barium, B, A. I so wanted you to pick this one. N stands for nitrogen. Nickel is N-I. Chemistry was never my strong suit in high school. And by that I mean I didn't have chemistry with anyone of the opposite sex, or the same sex, really. No, for some reason, K is the symbol for potassium. Just like there's an abundance of potassium in bananas, which will go great with your... Brand new banana toaster from Brown Anna's Banana Toasters. Because bananas were never meant to be eaten at room temperature. Today's wrong answer of the game brings you an extra $8,000. Surprise. Question This one's called... This heavy metal band is confusing. What might a typical headbanger yell at a satan-worshipping death metal concert? Neptune's moon rocks! Helicopters kick ass! Meet substitutes rule! Whales whale! <laughs> satan is a common vegetarian meat substitute made from cooked wheat gluten. Yeah, that should be a pretty awesome concert. Walking chicken is picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Try this on for size. Referio. I don't know if you've ever been to Rio de Janeiro, but they have that giant stone statue looming over the city called Christ the Redeemer. It's real famous. If Rio's Christ the Redeemer statue were refereeing a game played by other giant statues, what call would he be making? Touchdown! Safe! Traveling! Or pass interference! The Christ the Redeemer statue's arms are stuck straight out to the sides, sort of like an umpire calling a baseball player safe. Still, Christ would make a pretty annoying ump, constantly saying things like, You know, the only way to be truly safe is to accept me as your personal savior. And on its way... Stop rhyming now, I mean it. Eating which of these snacks would make Mr. Peanut a cannibal? Corn nuts, Cracker Jacks, Grape Nuts, or Munchies? Cracker Jacks is the only snack listed that contains nuts. What does Mr. Peanut eat anyway? I'm guessing it's a lot of fish. Don't know why, just seems like he'd eat a lot of fish. Maybe it's the monocle. Hold me, never let me go. And my Take a good look at... Big Dickens. 
Which Charles Dickens novel ends most like the way The Sopranos ended? Great Expectations, The Mystery of Edwin Drood, A Christmas Carol, or Little Dorrit? God, it's happening again. Just pick an answer next time. It'll be so much fun for both of us. Dickens died before finishing the mystery of Edwin Drood, so it pretty much stops without getting to an ending. Just as, love it or hate it, the last episode of The Sopranos dramatically cuts to black. I hate it when things don't have proper endings. Reminds me of a joke. A mobster, a writer, and a turn-of-the-century British street urchin walk into a... yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 4,000 bucks if you're right, 4,000 gone if you're wrong, and don't forget, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Sequel, the subtitle. Get ready for a massive disappointment. Good luck. she wrote well big shot you achieved what everybody else in this great country strives for filling your once empty skull with meaningless facts way to go now you're qualified to to uh collect unemployment you don't know jack good job everyone donnie what are we doing all right then have you any thinking for jumping back into the proceedings Poor Alice, stuck at home doing chores. Housework sure can be tiring, huh, Alice? But robot maids today can be so expensive. Well, why not try a reformed evil robot from the reformed robot house cleaning company? Oh, sure, these robots used to be programmed to wipe out the human race, but now they're programmed to wipe out grime and mildew. Let's watch. The mop is in the front closet, reformed evil robot. Must kill human. Excuse me? Uh, I mean, must clean bathroom. Good evil robot. So visit the folks at reformed robot house cleaning company, where we sweep evil under the rug. Your child is the most precious thing in your life. Mama loves you so much, Eric. And as a parent, you wish you could protect your innocent baby from this cruel world forever. Unfortunately, the real world is out there waiting for them. You didn't make the squad, kid. You throw like a girl. It's not you, Eric. It's me. You're fired. But for now, you can still protect him with the no-surprise Jack in the Box. Hey there, excuse me, uh, but I'm going to pop out of this box soon. I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be popping out in about five seconds or so, so please prepare yourself. Again, I don't want to scare you, but I'm coming out in just a sec. And here I am, as promised on time. This was fun. The No Surprise Jack in the Box from the No Surprise Jack in the Box Company. Because there are enough surprises in the world.
Later tonight on the season premiere of Hoofs of Love. 18 women living in a house competing for the love of one famous horse. Oh my God, he was in that movie Hidalgo? He was the one that wasn't Viggo Mortensen. Who's up for body shots? But it's not just fun and games because all's fair in love and horse. Most of these women are here to drink and be on TV. But for me, it's real. I'm falling in love with that horse. Sorry, I am not here to make friends. I am here to f a horse. And it's all part of one horse's crazy journey to find love in LA. I'm afraid there's only one saddle left. Will it go to Tamara or Nikki? Oh my gosh, pick me, pick me, pick me. Oh, let it be me. Don't say nay. <laughs> that bitch better get off my horse. It's time for an all new season of Hoofs of Love. This horse is not just back, he's bareback. I'm so embarrassed, Barbara. I just don't know why this is happening to me. Maybe it's time we considered getting a little help. What about a prescription drug? Or maybe I should just put my d in a splint. Trouble chubbing up? Scared of pills? Now there's help from Professor Willie's Dingle Splints. The only $5.99 over the counter solution for erectile dysfunction. Thank you so much, honey. Don't thank me. Thank Professor Willie. Professor Willie's Dingle Splints. Getting wood the old fashioned way. <laughs> Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Do you ever feel like your fishy friends get the raw end of every deal? When the chihuahuas are carried around in their Louis Vuitton purses and the labradoodles are on long walks in their fur trim vests, your goldy fish is left in its bowl, naked. So come shop at Fashion Fish Does. We are the country's leading provider of designer fish apparel and accessories. Hats, shoes, glasses, pants, underwater styles that'll make your fish look fantastic. Right, Goldie? Come to Fashion Fish Does. Meet Timmy. He's just like you or me. He likes to listen to music, play, make friends. The only difference is Timmy doesn't have a mother or father. Timmy's an orphan. Hi, I'm Timmy. Uh, Tim. My parents died in a tragic car accident when I was just 42. In retrospect, maybe I wasn't in any condition to drive. Anyway, uh, will you be my new mommy or daddy? I promise to be a good son. I'll keep my room clean and eat all my vegetables. Except for lima beans. Those things give me horrendous farts. Uh, I'll need a car. And it'd be great if you had an extra room or a basement for my drums. There are thousands of Timmies out there just waiting to find their forever home. If you are ready to start a new-ish family. Thank you providing more information about a massive safety recall of some common product you probably have lying around.